talk to you about being silent before the Lord, being silent before Jesus and hearing his voice. This is an hour that if ever we needed to hear Jesus, it's right now. I listened a while ago. I, I hardly listened to any videos because there's so much out there. But I, I seen a video of a brother. I'm pretty sure he's deaf because he does his messages in sign language. And he was talking about how that Jesus had told him to go to the sinners and take the message to the sinners and not the church. And you know, I told the folks the other night before I seen this video today that I saw the door closing, that I could feel that time is just about up and the door is quickly shutting. You might say, well, you know, that's not your call. You're completely right on that because I don't know how much longer that God is going to give people a chance. And which is the next preacher? And you know, I, I feel his presence right now. Who is the next preacher that Jesus says, don't preach to the church anymore? Don't preach to the Laodicean, the church that's dead, that's lukewarm. Because I'm going to spew it out of my mouth. Because they won't seek me. Because they haven't come before me. And sought my face. They've sought the word of man. they sought the words of preachers. They've sought a word that tells them that they're blessed. You know, we need to be silent before Jesus. We need to sit down. And the first thing we need to do is talk to him and pray. And then... We need to listen and be silent. Not go off on our thoughts, not go off to what we heard in the last service we sat in or the last preacher said to us, but listen, listen, watch and pray and listen for the voice of the Lord. He said, my sheep know my voice. And when Jesus begins to talk to you, you're gonna know his voice, you're gonna hear his voice. When you hear the voice of the Lord, you're going to recognize it because when he says something, you know, it will line up with scripture. If these people that's went and, and got them doctrines and ideas and all kinds of things that Jesus never said when he walked the earth, then they didn't hear the voice of Jesus to start with. We've got to hear his voice. We've got to know what he's saying to us in this hour. And we're never going to hear it if we don't be silent before him. People's carrying on. You know, they're, they're running to town. They're running through the stores. They're running to their amusement parks and places to find entertainment. And I seen this just a little bit ago. I saw how that they will get down on their knees for a little while, maybe five minutes or a few minutes, and, and they'll pray their prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord. My soul to keep. Jesus, help me. And then they jump in bed and they don't stay before the Lord. They don't give the Lord that time. You know, we need to do more than pray now and lay me down to sleep. We need to do more. You don't have to have a fancy prayer, but we need to have a sincere prayer. We need to have a prayer from our heart, something cried out to God from our heart. You know, it can even be silent sometimes. We can talk to the Lord Jesus in our hearts. And if you're talking sincerely, the first thing you know, you'll begin to pray. You may even pray in tongues or seek him, and you'll begin to just pray in the spirit of God. I was praying the other day, and the next thing I knew, tongues was just coming out of me. I've had that happen when I was laying in the bed as I began to talk to the Lord. It's time to hear the real voice of Jesus. People have heard many voices. They've heard the voice of the preachers. They've heard the voice of the choir. But it's time to hear the voice of the Lamb of God and what he's saying. Yes, as that man was saying, the door is shutting. 
And I believe that Jesus probably told him to take the message to sinners, to go out in the highways and the hedges and get those that have been rejected, get those that haven't been preached to every Sunday morning. Because no matter how much some of us try to warn, some of us try to tell people to hear from Jesus, they continue in the religious ways. They continue. Just listen to somebody tell them that any do will do. I'm going to read a scripture found in Revelations. Revelations 22, 11 said, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is, a, is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. The reason that he was saying these things, let him that's filthy be filthy still. Let him that's unjust, let him be unjust still. Let him that's holy be holy still. There's coming a day, children of God, sinners, everyone that hears my voice today, there's coming a day that time is going to be no longer. That time there's not going to be any time, time left for people to repent. And you know this cry that's been going out from the hearts of God's people to repent or perish, to repent, to cry out to God now. It's because he's coming quickly. There's going to be an hour that people that's unjust, they're going to be unjust still. If they're righteous, they're going to be righteous. It's going to be over. There will be no time to change. There might be a little bit of time to change. But there's such a hardness. Such a hardness. People don't want to change. People don't want to hear the voice of God. They don't want to hear my voice. They don't want to hear a preacher telling them to repent. And to listen. And be silent before the Lord. Because people likes to be heard for much speaking. They like their voice to be heard. You know, even in the days when Jesus was walking the earth, he talked about the Pharisees and, and the scribes and how, how the, you know, they like for their voice to be heard in the marketplaces. Today, people wants to be heard. People wants their voice to be heard. We need to listen and be silent before Jesus. You know, anymore... When people are listening to a, a, a preacher or a, a man of God, a woman of God, they, they don't like it. They won't finish it out. They won't let their flesh be corrected. They just flip it off. They say, I don't have to listen to this. People don't want no correction. They don't want to be obedient. They want to do whatever they want to do. But Jesus, he came to make a way. And right now, the only way that I can tell you to know that way, because you're not going to listen to me. So many of you in the church, you're not going to listen to me. Maybe you sinners are not going to listen to me. The way to hear the voice of Jesus is to pray and then be silent before him. Let him talk to you. He'll speak to you. He'll show you the way. He'll show you the narrow way that he laid. His voice is clear. If you're hearing anything's okay, and uh, if all you're hearing is there's just nothing wrong with sinning a little bit every day, you better go back to where you prayed the first time and listen for the voice of Jesus. Listen for the voice of Jesus because I'm going to tell you something. Any way is not okay. We have to hear his way. We have to be silent before the Lord. You can't hear Jesus if you're listening to your own thoughts and your own ideas and your own opinions. You can't hear Jesus if you're in a, in a garbage conversation with somebody. You can't hear Jesus when you're arguing. You know, I see people going on Facebook and, and arguing and, and carrying on and, and arguing back and forth. You can't hear Jesus like that. You have to hear Jesus sitting at his feet, coming before him, humble, or being out like this, walk your yard. 
Somebody told me this week, I don't have a yard. I was telling them to come before Jesus, somebody I've never talked to before. They come and ask me questions about Jesus, and I begin to minister to them, and I ministered for close to two hours, trying to point them to Jesus, not doctrine, not religion, but Jesus. They told me, I told them, you know, you can get out and you can walk and you can pray or you can sit before the Lord and however you can talk to Jesus. And they said, well, I don't have a yard. And I said, then, you know, your bathroom's a good place to pray. Your living room, your kitchen, every room that you've got, if you'll take it and say, Jesus, I realize that I am nothing and I realize that there's many voices in the world today. And I realize that everybody seems to have a different thing that they're saying. Jesus, you talk to me. Jesus, you tell me what to do. If you're not saved, the first thing that he'll begin to talk to you about is giving your life to him. To taking up the cross and following him daily. Repenting and being converted. God still talks. He's alive. You know, God used a donkey one time to rebuke a prophet. God talks. God speaks. We must listen. Be silent before the Lord. Be silent before the Lord. That is his message today that you will come and you will talk to him, but then you will wait to hear his voice. That you'll be silent before Jesus. You know, I can't make you... People's heard so much, and there's so many, so many videos floating through, and so many different words, and so many this, and so many that. Don't get, don't get caught up in it. Get caught up in Jesus. Hear His voice today. The hour's late. Now is the time.